Hello, and welcome to NOR's Process Runner help series. In this video, we will show the dynamic skip functionality of Process Runner, which allows elements at runtime to be skipped based on specified criteria. Here in the iBook ribbon of Process Runner, we have our data for an ME22N transaction automation script. To access dynamic skips, let's click on the mapper ribbon, make sure we have selected advanced view, and at the top, we have our dynamic skip column. We have the option to implement various dynamic skips that can occur at the screen level, the call level, and the field level. Let's look at the dynamic skip options for the field level by clicking on the row with purchase order quantity. Our first three options will skip the entire Excel row if there is a blank value, a zero, or a combination of both. Let's go ahead and select skip Excel row on blank, click on the iBook ribbon, and change a few of the purchase order quantities to a blank value. Now let's press the Run button, log on to SAP, and watch the automation script run with our dynamic skips. If we look at the SAP status messaging, we see that our third purchase order data was changed on a line-by-line -line basis. Our first purchase order was skipped entirely since we only had one row of data, acting as one call to SAP. Our second purchase order was changed, however the line items containing blanks were skipped. Now let's return to our mapper ribbon. The next three options will suppress the field based on if there is a blank value, a zero, or both. We also have the option to suppress the screen if there is a blank value, a zero, or both. In addition, we can skip the current call to SAP if there is a blank value, a zero, or both. The option to implement a data governance rule will be covered in a separate video, as this feature requires the Inawera control panel. Custom Dynamic Skip allows for a skip to be set up based on custom logic utilizing VP.NET coding and will be covered in another video as well. For this next example, let's select Skip Current Call on Blank. Now let's click back on the iBook ribbon and again change a few of the purchase order quantities to a blank value. Let's press the Run button, log on to SAP, and now our Dynamic Skip yields a different result. If we look at the status messaging, we can see that the first call to SAP was skipped. Our second call was also skipped because regardless of the data we had, a blank was encountered resulting in the call being skipped. Since the third call contained no blanks, the call to SAP was successful as expected. Let's go back to the mapper ribbon and click on the dynamic skip dropdown for the purchase order window screen. Notice we have different options where we can skip on the screen level. Our first option, execute only on the first call, is useful in scenarios such as when the first call has a company code pop-up screen that is not repeated in the other calls. And as we can see from the other options, we can suppress the screen based on various conditions. We can also select invert screen with previous, which will perform the opposite action based on the previous screen's dynamic skip. For example, if the previous screen has a skip, then the following screen will not be skipped. Or if the previous screen is not skipped, this screen will be skipped. This concludes our explanation of dynamic skips and a few of the many use cases they have. Want to learn more about simplifying SAP with Inaware Technologies? Visit us at inaware.com. Thank you for watching.